All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna begin with our 2018 Homecoming Assembly. My name is David Radford, I'm principal here at KM, and I wanna welcome you and thank you for a wonderful start to this school year. One of our main themes for this year is that everybody belongs here at KM. When you come onto campus, you see that mural up front that says, celebrating our diversity every single day, but it's more than just celebrating our diversity. It's everybody coming together at one point, like today, and being together. It doesn't matter where you come from, what the color of your skin is, what language you speak. We're all together celebrating as one group today, so thank you. I want to give a shout out to our ASB and leadership team today for putting on a great assembly for us, and I hope you enjoy the show today. At this time, I'm going to ask you to rise and take off any hats and hoods, and we're going to bring up the KM Choir to sing the national anthem. Please rise. Is that on? We are. Are the freshmen here? What the? How about some sophomores? Juniors? I'm gonna leave this one to you, Sienna. Am I senior? Welcome to KM and our first assembly of the year. We are very excited to have you all here. And we have a lot of great things in store. So what's first on the agenda, Sienna? So for everyone who's been to these kinds of assemblies, the first game we play is finish that song. So basically, the DJ's gonna play a song, it's gonna cut, and we all have to finish the song. So we're gonna practice as a group. DJ, play that track. The boys don't wanna taste it. That's just a bit of boys don't wanna taste it. All right, all right, all right. So now, let's figure out 
which class knows the most lyrics? So, where are my seniors at? Good, good. So the senior class is gonna go first so we can show everybody else what's up. All right, play that song. <laughs> freshmen, princess, and princesses. These were voted as the most inspiring and cooperative students of their class. Please welcome our freshman prince and princess nominees, Asia Uth and Trey Noel Baker. Asia's favorite teacher is Mrs. Solar because she cared for her students, pushed her to be someone to do her best, and her favorite movie is Stuart Little. Trey's favorite movie is Cars because when he was little, he watched Cars and he watched it like 20 times after that, so he considered it his favorite movie. Trey was nominated because he's a very nice kid who helps everyone in class with their work. Next up, we have freshman Prince and Princess nominees, Justiny Yuhashi and Duyu In seven years, Destiny sees herself in the WNBA, but she could also see herself owning a salon because her second dream to accomplish was to always open her own hair business. Her favorite teacher is Miss Davis. Since the first day of school, she's been supportive, loving, and kind. Tui's favorite movie is Blindside. In order to get more involved, he thinks that students should get involved in clubs and be more interactive towards other students in the community. His favorite dance move is the reverse because he's good at it. Walking out, we have freshman prince and princess nominees, Juliana Sok and Leon Elias. Juliana's peers said that she is very funny and nice. She's her, she sees herself permanently being 27 because she will be working at her dream job by then and she would like to stay young forever. Leon was nominated for KM Homecoming Royalty because he is very kind and he does all his work. Leon always follows directions, and in seven years, he sees himself in an apartment, going to a university to make a living. If he had one superpower, he would choose to have invisibility. Our next freshman prince and princess nominees are Frankie Weber and Chris Tellis. 
Frankie was nominated because she always does her work and is very inspiring to her classmates. If she could have one superpower, she would want to be, it would want, she would want to have mind reading because she wants to know what people are saying. Chris's favorite dance move is the Millie Rock. In seven years, he sees himself in a college pursuing his dream of being an automotive technician, but just in general doing something productive for his life. Our next freshman nominees are Jane P. Lonnie and Tone Tone, who are not here today. So, let's give one more round of applause to our freshman nominees. Next up is your sophomore nominees. This year, the boys and girls were nominated for being diligent and determined. Please welcome our prince and princess nominees, Alea Mendoza and Rodrigo Miranda Sanchez. Alea was nominated because she helps everyone and is a positive person to be around. She cares for not only herself, but her classmates as well. She is also super hardworking and cares about her grades. Rodrigo's favorite TV show is Rick and Morty. He would permanently want to be 21 years old. If he could have any superpower, he would want to be able to teleport. Walking out, our sophomore nominees, Aliyah Sok Wong and Dreshawn Purdy. If Aliyah had $1 million, she would save half and split the other half into five parts. She would give a part to her mom, dad, brother, cousin, and grandparents. And with the other half, she would buy a house and save the rest of the money for future necessities. If Dre Sean could have any superpower, it would be the ability to manipulate time. He thinks that for students to get more involved, it would help if they joined a sport. Next up, we have Elnara Malvadova and Jazia DeWitt. Elnara's favorite TV show is Friends. If she had one million dollars, she would take her family on vacation. In seven years, she sees herself graduating from college and working. Jazeel's peers say that he, is all, that he always helps everyone out. If he could have one superpower, he would want to be able to teleport. His favorite character from Wizard of Oz is Tin Man. Our last sophomore nominees are Nicole Garces and Tyrell Cook. In seven years, Nicole sees herself directing a short film. She thinks that for students to get more involved, they should join clubs and participate in school activities. Tyrell Cook was nominated for Royal Court because he is constantly on the move while balancing a job at AMC, the KMTA workload, and tennis. He is determined to get his work done. He's very friendly, super kind, and dances very well. Juniors, this year the junior prince and princesses were nominated on the category of dedicated and creative. Please welcome our junior prince and princess nominees Daisha Robertson and Ronald Wilson. Dasha's favorite movie is Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. If she could have any superpower, she would want to be able to read minds. If she had a million dollars, she would buy her mom a house and her dream car and travel the world with her sisters. If Ronald could have one superpower, it would be invisibility. His favorite teacher is Miss Smith because she's chill. Our next junior prince and princess nominees are Ayana Luna and Will Florence. In seven years, Ayana sees herself living in New York, graduating from NYU and pursuing her scene career. They're gonna do a little something something. Psych I lied! To be more involved, she thinks that students should join clubs and go to the equity meetings. Will's favorite movie is Coco, because it's about a boy who fights for music no matter what anyone said about him, and he sees himself in him. If Will had a million dollars, he would start a platform for others to share music, writing, and other talents. They have, like, open mic poetry readings, but for other ways to express themselves, also college. Our next nominees are Annie Huynh and Olivia Baker. They were nominated alongside Dwayne Alexander and William Daughtry. In seven years, Annie sees herself becoming a nurse practitioner. 
Her favorite teacher is Mr. Bannon because he's a great teacher and truly cares for his students. She thinks students could get more involved by joining Key Club. Olivia's favorite movie is The Greatest Showman. If she had $1 million, she would attend a university of her choice and study abroad and invest some of the money into a house. Two other nominees not present today are Dwayne Alexander and William Daughtry. Dwayne's favorite movie is Space Jam, and if he, could be in, if he could have one superpower, he would want to have super speed. William's peer say he is dedicated to every aspect of school. Sometimes he misses sleep in order to finish his responsibilities. He does clubs, activities in school, community activities, and makes time to say hi to his peers. So now let's make some noise for our senior king and queen nominees. So our nominees were voted for most influential and helpful. First, we have Jamila Amaru and Nick Jones. Jamila's peers nominated her because she's always wanting to help anyone she can. She looks after the good of other people before her own. She would want to be 123 years old because she wants to be the oldest person on earth. If Jamila had $1 million, she would buy a million dollars. Nate's favorite movie is 300 because it's cool. His favorite dance is the shmoney dance, and if he had a million dollars, he would give it back. Our next King and Queen nominees are Mackenzie Ramirez and Jesus Ruiz. Mackenzie's favorite show is Grey's Anatomy. If she could have one superpower, it'd be teleporting because driving's not what's up. Her favorite teacher is Miss Thousand because she's always there when you need someone. And even if you're not her student, she'll listen. Plus, she tells the best jokes ever. Jesus was nominated because he always influences us to do our best. We can because he's always there when you need him to help. He's constantly bringing up those around him. He's one of the kindest dudes. His favorite teacher is Miss Enciso because she's really helped him out the last two years, getting him ready for college, making sure he's on track to graduate, and left him with an unforgettable summer. The next King and Queen nominees are Maria Morales Ramirez and Kevin Leon. In seven years, Maria sees herself successful. One thing she thinks students could do to get more involved is to not be afraid to meet new people. Kevin's favorite teacher is Mr. Transier because he has learned so much about film and editing from him. One of his best memories with him was when he was fighting for us to have a school-wide town hall so that our voices could be heard throughout the community. And our last King and Queen nominees are Sienna Fadoesi and Isaac Cordova. Sienna was nominated because she was a constant reminder of me and multiple others that we can do better. She truly exemplifies what a student should be like. Through her academics, the sports she plays on, she's consistently on top of that that she does. Isaac's favorite teacher is Coach Allen because he taught Isaac more than just school work. In seven years, Isaac sees himself owning his own business. So this year we wanted to use homecoming as a platform to make a difference in our community. We're asking our student body to donate multicultural hair products to build hair care kits for the homeless population in our community. Many times, hair care products that are donated to shelters are made for people with European hair. And shelters are not able to provide hair for people of color with hair care products that are needed. We are, we are changing the deadline. Please help us make an impact by donating hair care products through next Thursday, October 11th. All right, so here's your nominees right over here. And we're gonna let the suspense build just a little bit. Can you feel the energy over here? Can everybody feel that? I'm excited for you guys. So, everyone has to wait until the end of the assembly to figure out who our prince and princesses are. Is being nominated kind of cool? Oh, it's cuckoo, it's cool. Right, so this next game is called Pie That Movie. This game should be a little familiar if you've watched Wild and Out. Basically, one partner of each team is trying to get their partner to guess the movie on the screen, but there's no talking. If they get it, they're safe. If they don't, they get a pie to the face. So can we have everyone who's playing this game come on down? 
if you're playing by that movie. All right, let's get it started. So they're gonna show you the picture, the, the name. You gotta act it out. If you don't get it, you're getting pie. Ready? The first one to get all three, they win, all right? No talking. Ready? Three, two, one, go. No talking, no talking. You get one shot, one shot to get the right movie. One shot, one shot. One shot. Got it. No, ah, oh, Kiana got a rock pie to the face. <laughs> Kiana, your turn. Step up over here. All right, Sosa switch. Come sit down here. Put the thing on. All right, one shot. You got one shot. So next up, uh, we have a little entertainment. So if our cheerleaders are ready, come on out.
at Sienna. That was extraordinary, ladies. Excellent work. Our next game up is called Hip Hop Scott, also known as Rock, Paper, Scissors. This is basically an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Every team will start on their ends, hop to the middle, and face off. Winner moves on, and the loser gets sent back to the end of their line. The goal of this game is to try to get as many people on your team to the other side before the time runs out. Are our contestants ready? Yeah, so come on down if you're part of this game. There we go, here are the seniors. Seniors, juniors, juniors. sophomores, and freshmen. Seniors on this side, juniors, sophomore, freshmen. Right here, sophomores. Freshman didn't get it, sorry about that. Junior! And now, and now we need to figure out who the top winner is. Stay so here, we're gonna juniors. have the juniors take on the seniors to figure out who's the best. Right over here, juniors. So once you go through twice, you're done. We're trying to figure out who's the top. Here we go. When you go through twice, Let's go on for Here we go. On your marks. Junior's ready. Get set. Go.
and I'm gonna flip a coin. If you think that it's gonna be heads, you put your hands on your head. If you think it's gonna be tails, you put your hands on your butt. If you lose, you sit down. Last man standing wins, so don't be cheating either. All right? Where's... Everybody stand up! Stand up. Here's the magic coin. Put your hands on your head if you think it's a head. Put your hands on your bum if you think it's tails. All right, ready? Let's flip that coin. Here we go. I'm not. It is a. We'll let it roll. If you're standing, stay up, hands up, or hands down. I'm looking, seniors, hands up, or hands down. Here we go. It is tails! <laughs> All right, we're almost to the last person. We're down to the last half dozen, here we go. Hands up, or hands down. Yes, I'm looking right, yes. It's Tails again! How many people we got? Five here, ten up there, here we go. Hands are up or hands are down? Oh, they're all going tails. Isaiah, what, you can't do heads and tails. It's just going crazy. Five tails in a row? What are the odds? Miss you, Anchor. Anybody? Anybody? Here we go. Freshman, where are your hands right now? Heads or tails? Here we go. Two hat, what are you? I want to see your hands. Uh, both. Hands up. Both hands. Thank you. How about right here? We got tails. Tails. Heads. Here it goes. Uh, you guys were sitting down. Kai, what do you got? Sorry. Heads. Are you ready? It's heads. Ah, good. Are we almost down? You were sitting down already. Here we, you can't both be heads. Here we go. Tails. OK, everybody that's standing, you're a winner. Good job. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Next up is the relay. This one's pretty simple. Each team member is gonna try and pop a balloon as fast as they can by sitting on the chair. Then after each team member pops their balloon, the last team member goes and tries to unwind the frozen shirt and put it on their body. The first person to unravel the frozen shirt and put it on their body wins the game. So if you're in the relay race, come on down. We got four teachers. Where are the, where's the freshman team? 
Braxton right over here. Right here in the front row, right here. Freshman, right here. Yeah. Four. What are you, your son? Sophomores are ready. What do we got here, juniors? Juniors are ready, we got their four. What do we got here, staff? We got four, and we got our four seniors. Here we go. Okay, so you're running with your balloons in your hand? Running with your balloons in your hand? Seniors are in action. So please head to your bus at this time. Right now, it is time for one of my favorite games of the year, the Tug of War. We need eight freshmen and eight sophomores. Eight First, freshmen and eight sophomores. If you're participating in Tug of War, please oh, come down. Right here, right Freshman, here. Freshman, right you're on that side. Right here, right on the key. Freshman, you're on that side. Sophomores, you're on this side. Freshmen are down by Mr. Gaber. Sophomores Freshman, right over here. here. Do we have eight? One, two. Sophomores over three, here. Sophomores. Four. Sophomores. Sophomores. We need two. Yeah, we need two more freshmen. We're up to six. All right. Here comes another freshman. We can use one more freshman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, James, you got this. James, how are you feeling going into this? I like turtles. That's what I thought. Here we go. Come on, freshmen, we need one more. All right, here he is. On your marks. Get set, go. Freshmen, take it away. Taylor, sophomores, get it back over. 
There go the sophomores. Sophomores are making a six in progress. But the freshmen, they're not going to give up easily. Oh my God. In it all, the sophomore. They're getting closer. They're getting closer. How many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. All right. Seniors, Junior. we got to get a dub. Come this way. Seniors, Junior. we got to get a dub. We're not playing around no more. Juniors, okay. come this way. What was that? Okay, right there. Okay. okay. How many we got? On your marks. marks. Set, go. Oh, my God. If we have eight staff members, come on down. We'll meet, meet right here, Mr. Radford. Same eight people, same eight Mr. people. Mr. Radford, I think you have your nice shoes on today. I need eight staff members to take on the winners. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. 
relax down. I need, well, we need a handicap. All right, on your marks, set, go! As our last game, we're gonna play Finish That Theme Song. So this is basically just like Finish That Song, but this time they're gonna be theme songs. So let's figure out if you guys really know your TV shows. This time we're gonna start with the freshmen.
<laughs> Juniors, here we go. Your princess. This this is beyond coincidence. First period, Mr. Gamers class, Olivia Baker. And the junior prince. How did he not have Mr. Gamer? Ronald Wilson. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The king and the queen. The winner is gonna be announced at the football game this Thursday, so make sure you see. You're killing me. Make sure you attend. And also, make sure you buy your homecoming tickets this week because they're not sold at the door. This year's theme is there's no place like homecoming, so I'll see y'all there and make sure you bring your dance moves to the floor. But to end our assembly, we have a staff versus students basketball game. So if you're playing in this game, go ahead and step on the court. Teachers, Mr. Cadenas, if you're here, we know you, we know you can hoop a little bit. We need a couple more staff. Okay, Hanson. Hanson's on the court. We got Mr. Boo, Mr. Romine. Any other staff? Mr. Cadenas, are, are you here? Cardenas. Do you want to play basketball? Come on down. Ah, uh, we got the security guard stepping in the hoop. He's not giving tickets, he's taking ankles. No. He's taking ankles today. All right, so it's just half court. It's just half court, street ball. All right, so we got one, one, two. We need. All right, teachers are starting. Whoa, wait, wait, actually, wait, pause, pause. One.
Nas not playing around. He's taking it in. Ooh, and he loses the ball. Oh, Mr. Boo's not playing around today. Oh, he's trying to take him in. Ah, oh, passed it out. He's trying to take it into the hoop. Ooh, money or no? Money! Two-two. It's two up right now. First to five, it's two up. Teacher ball, teacher's ball, it's the ref, it's the ref, they'll take it out on me, it's the ref. Terrible. 